Okay, go. Hello, this is Bellingham Technical College. This is instrumentation, a instrumentation lab. Right now, we have a solar collector. It is made out of 2x4s and 2x8s. Uh, that glass piece you can see is actually a sliding glass door. Um, the back part is um, styrofoam, and we painted it black so it can attract heat, absorb radiation from the sun. All right, so right there, that little blue thing right there is a temperature transmitter. This temperature transmitter has a sensing element. The sensing element is an RTD, specifically a four, R, a four wire RTD. Basically what this is doing is sensing the temperature of our process variable, which is actually just the temperature of the air within our solar collector. This transmitter outputs a four to 20 milliamp current based on the temperature of the air that it's sensing from the sensing uh, element in the temperature collector. So this 4 to 20 milliamp signal is going to our controller. Well, this controller is getting the input of a 4 to 20 milliamp signal, which represents the temperature of the uh, in our solar collector. This controller is going to output to our fan, um, actually our VFD first, um, it's direct acting, which means that if the temperature in the solar collector is too high, it will output a high current from our transmitter to our collector. Now, then it will actually output a high amount of current to our controller, to our fan, which will make our fan blow faster. So we come to the here, and this is our four to 20 milliamp signal coming into our VFD. And what is our VFD? A VFD is a variable frequency drive, and based on, it uh, it sends power to the motor, which also sends power to the fan. If you get a high current to the VFD, this will send high speed to the motor, which will, will, which will make the fan run faster. If you get a low current to the VFD, you'll get a low speed on the motor, that will uh, send, essentially make the fan run slower. And any milliamps in between on the input basically gives uh, a variable speed. That's why it's called a variable speed drive. So essentially then that, uh, that serves as the input to the solar collector itself. And so basically in summation, uh, as it gets too hot, the, f the fan, runs hot, fan runs more. As it gets uh, too cold, the fan stops moving. And by doing so, you maintain a constant temperature which you set on the controller within the box.